Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to time a uh, install of distributor on a 4.3 liter V6 uh, uh, Vortec Marine application. Um, the uh, distributor, as its name implies, uh, dis mechanically distributes the spark to the right cylinder. The uh, main spark comes in in the center of the cap. I'm just going to get this cap right here. So the main spark comes in on this wire. This is your coil wire, it comes from the ignition coil and the spark is distributed to the right cylinder mechanically. So it comes in on here and then it goes out through the outside spark plug wires and it, as, the, as the rotor inside rotates, it distributes that spark to the right cylinder at the right time. Well, the right cylinder at the right time just so happens to happen because the distributor is mechanically timed through the gear system. You got the, cr the crankshaft to the camshaft and the camshaft to this gear, so it's all mechanically uh, interlocked. And it's mechanically timed. Um, in this, in this engine, I happen to get pretty lucky, and I explain right now. So when you time an engine, you have to have a reference point, and that reference point is called top dead center. And top dead center is whenever this line on this harmonic balancer, this balancer is keyed to the crankshaft of the key, so it always locates in the same spot. So this line, when it lines up with the mark on the timing cover, that's top dead center on the number one cylinder. Now. What that means is that the piston is all the way at the top. Um, there's one problem with that. This is a four stroke, so if it's at the top, <clears throat> it can either be firing, about to fire, or it's exhausting and, and taking in fresh air. So you have what's called a compression stroke and exhaust stroke. This engine just so happens that I got kind of lucky in that the number one cylinder, which is right under here, the, the, the rocker arms are under here, can be seen and felt through the oil filler hole. Right down through there, you can see a you can see a roller rocker. That's the intake rocker on number one. So, what I did was I took the oil cap out, and as I rotated this engine by hand, I rotated it with a socket wrench. I put a 5/8 socket on the front of the motor, and as I rotated around where this lined up, I felt this rocker in here, and it was it was rock. As I was rotating, I noticed it was rocking on the when this line was about right here. The line was about right there and that rocker was still rocking. That told me that at that time, this had just passed top dead center on the exhaust stroke. So I needed to go around, all the way around, that line was here, I needed to go all the way around until it pointed again, then that number one center would be on the compression stroke, which is what I want. So, right now I've got the line lined up with the timing mark, and I know that the uh, number one cylinder is on the compression stroke. I know it's about to fire and make power. So, when that happens, to mechanically time the distributor, you want the rotor to point to the number one cylinder in your cap. So I've already determined that, or, let me pick this up here. So somebody had already marked this number one spark plug wire with number one and I traced it back and it comes in right here where my thumb's at. If you follow that line down, it comes right down the cap to right here where my thumb's at. And then when I put the cap on, when I had the cap on the distributor, it's just so that number one lined up with that little uh, the hole right there with the wire mesh on it. So when I put this in, and I know that this rotor is lined up with that wire mesh about right, about right there, I know that that distributor is mechanically ready to drop in the motor pointed towards the number one cylinder because it's timed with the engine. So the problem is when you drop it in, you've got a, this sort of a screwdriver slot in the bottom of the distributor it must line up with the slot in the oil pump. So the oil pump must turn, because of these uh, helical gears here, the oil pump must be turned a little bit uh, to my right for this one. As it, engage, as it drops in and engages, it will engage properly. If it doesn't, you just take it out and rotate your oil pump a little bit and it'll straighten and it'll uh, try to engage. So what I'm about to do is drop this oil, this, uh, excuse me, this distributor down in there. And it just so happens that this, this wire mesh and everything lines up with straight with the front of the motor. Uh, that's not usually the case. So um, I've got the number one cylinder, I mean, excuse me, the engine on number one cylinder, top dead center on the firing stroke, and I'm about to put the stripper in. And let's hope it lines up. So as I drop it in, let's see if I can drill. So as I drop it in, you want to see if it engages. I'm going to rotate this back just a little bit. Boom. And it's all the way in. Problem is, see how it's off? It's not pointing to the front of the engine. So if I turn this right here towards towards the front of the engine, I'm actually missed it. So I got to pull it back out and rotate it 
rotate this back this way to where it lines up straight up with towards me and line with that when this this should be pointing right there not over there so I've got to do this over also I noticed I got to do it over because I forgot to put this, the gasket between the distributor and the engine so I got to take it back out and do that anyway so um, I'm gonna stop the video pull this back out like I say you just got to play with the oil pump you can reach in you can rotate that with a screwdriver just don't drop the screwdriver in the motor rotate the oil pump back that way a little bit so as I take this out and drop it back in I've got to rotate this rotor back around here so when it drops in and then drops on the helical gears it'll be facing forward so let's try that again as I was saying I use an old distributor to help me prime this engine and what I'm doing now is um, it turns out this black line that on this rotor that I already marked before um, that black line just so happens to be in line with the that screwdriver flat blade screwdriver part of the bottom of the distributor so I know where my oil by, by basically default I know where my oil pump is now pointing so I'm gonna point my oil pump slightly right of center of this motor to about right there so then when I put the real distributor in, it, it, when it tries to engage with the oil pump, it should, as it drops into those helical gears, it'll rotate the oil pump and the distributor shaft and point forward. So let's try that. Okay, this distributor is now mechanically timed. It's not perfect, but it works. So basically, as I was saying, if that rotor tip is pointed approximately at this mesh right here, then I know that that's pointing towards my number one cylinder. And as you can see, I've got the distributor completely down. There's a gasket under in there. Put that on first. The distributor is completely seated against the intake manifold which means it's engaged with the oil pump down below and it's engaged with the gear on the camshaft so it's mechanically timed with the camshaft it's also uh, engaged with the oil pump because it's seated and it's all seat it's all time now um, it's not pointing straight ahead at the front of the engine it doesn't have to be all that matters is that this rotor must point towards that mark right there because that's where your number one cylinder uh, is on your distributor cap that's what's important when this thing is fully seated and engaged at top dead center. So this distributor is now mechanically set. This is called your static timing. What you will do is you will hook up a timing light and adjust the timing dynamically with the engine running by rotating. What you do is you rotate the distributor. That changes the timing. The rotor stays put, but you're changing the timing by rotating the distributor back and forth. Um, so let me put this back right there. So I need to tighten it. Uh, let me explain something. Um, the customer, when they brought this engine off, this this intake manifold was already torn off the motor, and it was sitting in the front of the boat. There's supposed to be a bolt and a clamp that tightens down against the distributor right here, and it's missing. So, I've got some extras which I'll have to use if I can't find it. But I got to search this boat and see if I can find the one that came on it. So, I'll do that now. But just letting you know, that's how you the, this bolt and the clamp that holds this distributor down is how you tighten it and keep the distributor from spinning when the engine's running. So. But you loosen that, rotate the distributor, set your timing with the timing light with the motor running, and then you uh, tighten it back down. Um, I'll do another video on how you actually time it with the motor running later. That's called dynamic timing. It requires a timing light and a special tool on this uh, ignition module. Um, so I'll, uh, you can buy the tool, but I'm going to jury rig my own. I know how to do it. So I'm going to make, well, it's not really jury rig, just use alligator clips and make your own uh, timing mechanism. So thanks for watching.